Well, uh, Kirsten's here, and we got a cold uh, weekend ahead. Yeah, we do. Some uh, very cold temps. In fact, the coldest we've seen so far this season coming up tonight. Let's talk about what you're waking up to this morning, though. It is uh, a chilly start, definitely not as cold as it will be tomorrow morning. But temperatures are in the 30s, and we're waking up with a few clouds, but dry conditions. You can leave your rain gear at home today. We will not be seeing any rainfall for the next couple of days ahead. It's 37 with a north wind at 16 miles per hour this morning. So a cold north wind will continue for us again today. Temperatures across the area all above freezing at this point. A couple of us may dip just uh, right around that freezing mark or maybe just below it. Uh, but again, these temperatures will take a big, uh, a big dive going into tonight. As we take a look at our future track, there are some clouds to start, but we will see more sun today. It will not be as gloomy as it was yesterday, and of course, it won't be as wet either. As these clouds uh, move out of here, of course, no rainfall expected for us on our future track either. Highs are going to be in the 40s pretty much everywhere. Looks like we could hit a couple of 50s down to the south, but our high here in Tulsa about 46, 45 in Pryor, and around 44 over in Tahlequah. Now, we are looking for a chill tonight as we're seeing that upper-level jet stream dip down and bringing us some very cold air from the north. That means those overnight lows will be dropping into the teens and 20s. Tomorrow morning as we wake up, we're going to be seeing temps closer to about 19 degrees here in Tulsa. So you may be dealing with a little bit of frost on your windshield as you're heading out. If you are heading out early on Friday, uh, Saturday morning, rather, those temperatures will be in the teens up to the north and off to the east. You'll see some 20s, though, for the uh, um, southern half of green country. But everybody expect to drop below freezing tonight. So we're under freeze warning that will go into effect this evening and continue until tomorrow at 10 a.m. And that's for pretty much everyone here in green country. So let's fast forward and take a look at our Bedlam forecast this weekend. Of course, the game is going to be in Norman. Uh, it will be dry, which is the good thing, but it'll be a little bit on the cold side. So make sure if you're heading out there for the game, you just bundle up. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s uh, for kickoff. And at the end of the game, we're still going to be seeing those temps in the mid 40s. And at that point, with a south wind continuing through the day, then on Saturday. Now on Sunday, we'll be in the 40s again. So temperature staying below average for the next seven days ahead. We're going to see a slight chance for some showers on Sunday. Monday, though, our chance for precip goes up just a little bit. And with cooler temperatures, we may see even a little bit of a rain and snow mix on Monday. Uh, as far as that goes, the, the confidence on that on Monday is going down a little bit from what we saw yesterday. But we'll keep watching this as we get closer and let you know how things evolve over the next several days. Then Tuesday through Thursday, Thursday of next week, we clear out and we'll see temps stay in the 40s and 50s with overnight lows in the 20s.